Club. Uh, David, can you, do you think you can uh, upskill that a little bit and uh, talk I'll about in-service orbiting and try to up it up <laughs> a notch? <laughs> I'll try, but it's, uh, so thank you very much for uh, first the invitation from uh, DASO System for that first of its kind event. So I'm, I'm David, I'm co-founder and chief product officer at ExoTrail. So uh, for those who don't know ExoTrail, we are a space logistics company. So we are building the tech um, infrastructure for the future of space logistics and mobility. Um, and so how did we come to this? Uh, which is a, a question I ask m myself sometimes. How, how did I come doing a company in space logistics? So um, when we started, we being four, four founders, um, so Jean-Luc, Nicolas, Spon, uh, and me, when we met in 2015, uh, it was the first uh, launch of, uh, so one of the first launch of a company called uh, Planet, uh, for Planet Labs. Uh, so they are launching an Earth observation constellation. Uh, and at that point, they were launching um, like three or four uh, satellites on an Indian rocket. Um, and, and they were really a bit on the side. It was called piggyback at that time. So in, I don't have the French, uh, the English word, but uh, I call it uh, strapontin uh, a bit. Um, so uh, a big satellite launching on an Indian rocket and small five kilogram satellites uh, next to them. And once th they were in space, they had, because they did not have propulsion, so in order to move, they had to uh, change the, the way they, they were oriented in the atmosphere to change a bit the drag so that it could have an impact on their trajectory. Um, and so if you, you'd be on Earth, that would be a bit the equivalent of um, so, for instance, I'm going to, to Washington, D.C. next week for a, a satellite conference. Um, and so I'm leaving on Saturday. That's about the equivalent of me going to Bordeaux, wait, hope for cargo, to go to New York, slowly get to New York, and then walk to D.C. So that's about the situation that was, you know, launching small satellites uh, five years ago. And the thing is that there were a lot of promises around uh, revolutionizing Earth observation and telecommunication doing so. And so what we thought at that time was, that's not going to work. So we want to enable that, that industry to, to arrive with advanced space logistics and mobility. So that was really the, uh, the, the, the early days. And so the way we do this is through a family of, of holistic um, uh, solutions for space mobility. So in 10 years from now, a bit like uh, Adele, we want to be able to be in a position where we can help uh, satellites operators with onboard propulsion, with mission software, uh, operation software to help design the mobility problem, solve the mobility problem with this proportion and orbital transfer vehicles. So kind of bus in space that can host other satellites and carry them from the launch orbit to their operational orbit. Um, but we also want to be able to do with that same vehicle uh, on orbit servicing, namely refueling, cleaning, uh, moving around and so on and so forth. So that's the vision. The, what I think kind of uh, differentiates uh, ExoTrail from a lot of companies is that from that kind of ambitious vision, we were able to draw a pretty pragmatic step-by-step -step approach. And I was convinced from day one that I didn't want to be in a situation where uh, my, my kind of um, uh, uh, the venture that we were building was entirely tied to private investors' money. So we say we're going to break that vision into several steps. Uh, step one was to put on the market a proportion system uh, that has, thanks to its unique performances in terms of thrust and impulse, um, able to reach a relatively quick product market fit um, uh, and design also mission software to design, simulate space mission and constellation. That's step one. That step one would be able to generate revenues, credibility, heritage to reach step two. Step two is where we are right now, which is to add to that family of pro products of proportion and mission software. Um, uh, other products, so mission operation software to automate the operation of small sat constellations, um, but also space transportation vehicles. So the, the space van that I've mentioned, a vehicle able to carry satellites from one place to another. And this again will allow us to um, go to step three, which would be building a, a next generation of on-orbit servicing, um, namely refueling and cleaning. So that's, that was the idea. Uh, we started in 2015. Uh, we raised, so it took us a couple of years to start the, the business. We, we really kick-started things in 2018. Uh, we raised 6 million euros, half public, uh, half private, so with uh, venture capitals. Uh, we built our first uh, prototype, so one prototype of our uh, proportion system that we flew on uh, six unit CubeSats, which funnily enough was on the slide of the exploration company under Space Demo, so that was our... IOD uh, with our proportion system. 
Um, that was uh, a success. We also uh, developed a beta version of our software for, for, for us and that we sold to first uh, company, uh, Utelsat, uh, that you might be familiar with. Um, and that worked quite well. So with this, we were able to do to, to this kind of uh, um, demonstration in the env environment of the products. We were able to raise, uh, during COVID, uh, 11 million euros. Uh, so a, a town led by, by Carista and with Yvon, who is their uh, partner in our board meeting, who worked for more than 20 years, in, or maybe not 20 years, worked for many years in Dassault Systems. Um, and so with this, we were able to really, with that money, to double the size of the team again, so 50 people at that time in 2021, and really put our proportion and software products on the market. Um, and so here we are now, uh, beginning of 2023, um, and, and we can say we are about 100 people, and we could say that we are one of the rare company uh, in the new space sector that actually uh, reached a product market fit uh, on the new space sector. So actually generating dozens of millions of sales on a, a, a product on, on several continents. Um, and so I've, I've always remembered, you know, uh, when I was a, a, a student and they uh, were saying to me, there is no need to define what a product market fit is. When it will happen, you will know it. Um, so that's what we, we have right now on Proportion, so, which is really every day receiving requests to buy a Proportion system. And in the last four weeks, uh, we signed a concession contract in the US, another one in South Korea, two in, in Europe. Uh, to deliver dozens of proportion systems to our international customer. Um, and so thanks to that, we've, we've raised, uh, we've announced a closing of a Series B of 54 million euros uh, recently, which is uh, today, so this year, the, the largest uh, fundraising in, in Europe uh, raised by a, a space company. Uh, and actually the largest, uh, the two largest uh, fundraisings in February in France are from the exploration company and uh, Exotrail, so which says something about the, the, the stage of the space company on this industry. So that's where we are, um, and and to the end to talk a bit about you know why also we are, we we are here. So we talked about our customers. Actually, uh, Jean-Marc mentioned Airbus earlier, so Airbus is also one of our customer on a larger thruster. So I have a small video which uh, does two things: a quick, uh, you know, a bit less good than Adele's video. Sorry for that. Um, so to introduce a bit, so uh, you know. What we do, so the, what we call the mobility hub, which is really the family of, of products that we, that we develop. But then um, I will spend, because I still have a couple of minutes, uh, to talk a bit more about one of our product, which is uh, Space Studio. And Space Studio is really our, our mission design software. Um, and it's, it's why we are pretty interested in, in, in being here with Dassault System. So we've been discussing that with Yvon for the past three years, uh, which is what we do with the product that you will see is really to simulate a space mission, a satellite, um, an orbit, rocket, and so on, to be able to put a space mission in more of the digital world so that you can optimize things really quickly. Um, and so our biggest competitor on that software got bought by ANSYS, that you know, for $700 million, um, only developing one product, which is called STK, which is competing with Space Studio. Um, and so what we want to, to achieve is to be able to build this collaboration with that product to kind of um, simulate, um, you know, uh, a space mission and optimize things. And so, though that's what you, you see, uh, I'm not gonna, you know, can call, come to me at the end for the networking event and uh, we can go in more details, but uh, what was interesting is how, why actually did we do that in the beginning? Um, so at the very beginning of ExoTrail, so we, we had access to a, a proportion tech and we were wondering, okay, how can it be used by our customers to deliver value to their use cases? So how, how can they, they can need proportion to um, reduce capex for launch, uh, to to reduce, let's say, to optimize their performances by selecting an optimal orbit. And we went on Google, and we were originally typing constellation design software, and, and we couldn't find anything that was easy, um, and that did not cost you know 100k and required, a, as I'm saying, a back plus 50 uh, to be used. Um, which is PhD plus 50 years for uh, our English friends. Um, and so that's why we actually initially developed that software for self, to be able to, to know what value we were bringing to our products. And then down the line, we say, okay, well, if it's complex for us, maybe it's complex actually for everyone. So we say, okay, let's make a product out of that software, simulate what is a space mission. And that now, for instance, is used by, uh, for instance, Utelsat in their merging with OneWeb, use this to analyze some of the uh, uh, let's say, uh, scenarios uh, of, of one web constellation for their IoT constellation. Um, another customer is ISAR Aerospace, a German uh, launch company that uses this for their 
pre-launch uh, mission analysis. Um, and it's really something that is in the continuation of something that that the system can provide uh, through simulating a spacecraft, mechanically speaking, uh, you know, with the, the product line management software. Um, but well, we can do you know things that can interact with 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 this um, and adding more value in space for flight dynamics and so on and so forth. So that's the idea. Um, thanks. Thank you very much. Um, so that's who we are, and, and I'll be there again um, in the networking uh, area uh, for you know chats if you want to partner, whether it's on the investment side or commercial side. Um, yeah, happy to chat. Thank you very much. Okay.